Hi everybody! I'm back with a new yarn video. Uh, this week I'm going to show you our Tussa Silk Lace. It's um, one of our most um, sought after yarn yarns. It's It was the first yarn we ever had. It was the first on yarn we ever dyed. Um, so this is a special yarn, a very special yarn for us. It's also um, a yarn that you can wear um, in a temperature range between, I would say, 10 degrees Celsius and 20 degrees Celsius, um, or also when it's colder, when you wrap it um, around your neck um, more times than once. Um, it's a very versatile yarn. I have a, um, I have a, a jacket, um, a cardigan. Um, it's called. It's the Simplicity cardigan. Um, made out of one skein of Tussa silk lace. Um, I have knit more than one Simplicity cardigans uh, and um, gave them to my mom, for example. So it's a very, very um, nice, beautiful yarn. And the only thing that you should um, think of when you knit with pure silk and especially with our single ply Tussa silk is that it will grow when washed for the first time. So um it will grow about up to 30 percent so this is it's really um necessary that you knit a swatch and then wash the swatch um and stretch it a bit and let it dry and then you can go from there but um i want to show you some more projects because i have a lot of tussa silk projects because we do have this yarn uh, had this yarn for a very long time um this year is our is one skein of Tussa silk lace knit with a needle size five millimeters and it's our own pattern bloody dream and maybe you can see it in the video it's a very it's a very mildly variegated yarn and we do have this ki these kind of skeins at the moment in the shop um it's like here the um, broken sea pearl, which has this mild variegation, and also here the Nimuous uh, violet pearl, also very beautiful um, muted shade, purple shade, and I have here the sea of bitter tears, which is a bit more in the olive green direction. So these would be um, yarns that would go very well with um, with shawls that have these very open lace structure um, that Estonian lace has. I have some more Estonian lace for you. This was um, this, this, this is a shawl called Laminaria. It's one of the uh, I don't know. Um, for, for me, it's one of the classic um, shawls. This is also with one skein of Tussa silk lace. And you can see here also this variegation um, that will give this very beautiful shimmer to the, to the shawl. Um, but I also have some shawls that are more or less solid. I have here the Hanami stole. It's also one skein of Tussa lace. It's here, here. Um, I'm going to wear it so that you can see how this falls very lightly around the neck. Okay, so this would be um, um, one skein of Tussa lace, and I have here uh, a shawl. It's also one of our patterns uh, called Not Seeing the Tree for the Leaves. And this is with only half a skein of Tussa silk lace. It's also here, you can see how really, really soft this yarn is and how great the stitch definition of this yarn is. So this is our um, 
our pattern not seeing the tree for the leaves and I have another pattern with some um, beads in it it's from um, Paulina Paulina P uh, she designed um, more patterns with our yarns um, but this is one with one skein of Tusa silk lace it's called Shangri-La and there are here I decided to use very subtle um, frosted beads so that this will look like um, raindrops and I, I really love, love this very elegant elegant um, crescent shaped shawl and for those of you who are interested in weaving um, I have woven several um, shawls with Tusa silk lace I use it for warp and for weft and here's an example of a shawl uh, where I used it for warp and weft so it's one of these dusty purples as you can see I use I use mostly very um, neutral shades and not I'm not so into the intense colors um, but of course we do have very intense very beautiful intense colors but they're just not for my face so I use these dusty colors this is Natcatcher it's the color Natcatcher and uh, also this is um, Tusa Silk is warp and is weft I used Two skeins because this this has two colors, but you can make um, a beautiful woven shawl with only one skein of Tusa silk. And here I have one a very small um, or narrow and openly woven shawl with um, three colors as warp and black hole as weft. And so this is, these are the shawls that I brought or the, the clothing that I brought um, to show you. And now I'm going to show you what we have currently in, in stock here in our store. It's right here. Um, we have redyed some red as well. It will be in this week's um, update. And we have here reds, greens, yellows, bluish greens and blues, bluish purples and reddish purples, and then brown and gray. And that's not all because we have here another box because no, uh, there is no much, no, not much room um, in this in the rack. So here we have this beautiful turquoise and a very deep let's see this is why it's better a very deep um forest green so just go to our etsy um shop dye for yarn and have a look at the current selection it's really we have a lot of beautiful shades um and if you want if you're interested in these uh, multicolored um yarns multicolored versions of our tosa silk then go to little shop of wonders uh, there you find them. Uh, I'm going to link you all the projects that I used and all the patterns that I used for uh, the projects, uh, including the um, uh, link to our um, Etsy shop and to our um, to the sections that I mentioned. I'm going to link you these, and I hope this will this was helpful for you. Just uh, let me know if you have any questions, and I'm also very interested in the projects um, you make with these yarns. With our yarns um, of course i follow all the projects that are um, published in our um, group on ravelry um, i look at all of them um, but um, i also I love to see them um, if you want to show off your your project uh, go ahead and um, just show them here on insta on uh, and on facebook so okay, this was um, this this week's um, yarn presentation, and see you next week. Bye.